فهم كل دينا ينضموا للاستماع الى راديو بلدي او الراديو عربي امريكي ويعنى بقضايا العرب في المهجر. برامجنا في راديو بلدي كل يوم جمعه من الثامنه وحتى التاسعه صباحا مع ليلى الحسيني في بث حي ومباشر وعبر دبليو ان زي كي راديو 690 اي ام صباح الخير بلدي صباح الخير لكل مستمعينا. Welcome to Radio Baladi, the first Arab, Middle Eastern and American simulcast radio show. Radio Baladi is broadcast every Friday morning on WNZK 690 AM from 8 until 9 Eastern Time on Good Morning Michigan with Layla Al Husseini. Our call in number 248-557-3300. And now, stay tuned for the best radio talk show on Arab and American issues with your host, Layla Al Husseini. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Hi, good evening everybody. This is Cynthia Samson from New Delhi, India. Professionally, I have one year of experience with an online news channel in New Delhi, India as reporter and last designation was bureau chief. Also, I am the political party member of AIPC that is All India Professional Congress which was started in 2017 under the leadership of Dr. Shashi Tharoor. In 2017 and it has been recently constituted in the Indian National Congress. Welcome everybody this is Cynthia Samson and you are listening to US Arab radio channel if in case you have not subscribed to our channel please do so we will be coming up with some more interesting news from India. So today's latest topic or the hottest topic which is making waves all over the world that is the Kashmir issue that is the removal of article 370 and 35a the strong initiative taken by the BJP political leader especially our Prime Minister Narendra Modi so what are the benefits of the removal of these articles and how Kashmiris will be or will be getting benefits from that first of all a brief detail about it Removing Article 370-35A key steps and fulfilling Sardar Patel's dreams as stated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Independence Day speech. The highlights are removal of Article 370 a step towards realizing dreams of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Previous government's efforts did not bear results as new approach was needed. PM Modi also asserted that his government neither nurses problems nor keeps them pending. The removal of Articles 370 and 35A of the Constitution within 10 weeks of the new government has come as step forwards realizing the dreams of Sardar Vallabhai Pati, said Prime Minister Narendra Modi. PM Modi said this while addressing the nation from the rampart of Red Fort in Delhi on the occasion of Independence Day. He said new government has not even completed 10 weeks in office but even in this small period we have taken and strengthened the initiatives in all directions. The removal of Articles 370 and 35A of the Constitution within 10 weeks of the new government is an important step forward towards realizing the dreams of Sardar Patel. What's the reason that this problem persisted for so many years? PM Modi asked in his Independence Day speech. He said, the work that was not done in 70 years has been done by the new government within 70 days of coming to power. Today, country says one nation, one constitution. We are committed to realize Patel's dream of Ek Bharat, Shreshta Bharat, that is, one India, great India. The old arrangement in Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh encouraged corruption, nepotism, but there was injustice when it came to rights of women, children, Dalits, tribal communities. The dream of sanitation workers were incomplete. How can we accept such a situation? Asked Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Those who supported Article 370, India is asking them, if this was so important and life-changing, why was this article not made permanent? After all, those people had large mandates and could have removed the temporary status of Article 370. This is the Independence Day speech of Narendra Modi in his second term as Prime Minister. Overall, this is the sixth time the Prime Minister Narendra Modi has addressed the nation from the ramparts of the historic Red Fort in Delhi on the occasion of Independence Day. 
Life is a nonprofit charity that's provided humanitarian aid and development to people and communities for over 25 years, regardless of race, color, religion, or cultural background. When disaster occurs here or around the world, Life for Relief and Development rushes in to provide food, medical aid, and shelter to those in need. Please help improve these efforts. Make your tax-deductible donation to Life now at lifeusa.org or call 248-424-7493. I myself have personally interviewed two Kashmiri girls what they personally feel about the removal of article 370 and 35A. So let's have their views. Hello. Hi. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Yeah, fine. Actually, I got your number from Mr. Tosim who is based in London. Yeah, yeah, correct. So he told me that uh, in the afternoon time, normally you are free to... Uh, have a talk or you can give the interview because I think you're working. Yeah, yeah, I work in Delhi. So uh, he says I'm actually not very free. But yeah, I have to get talk to Saturday Sunday. Okay, what do you do normal uh, in Delhi? I work with a bank. Okay, okay, bank. Private or government? It's a private bank. Standard bank. Okay. So how did you find Delhi? Since how long you have been in Delhi? It's It's been seven years now. How did you find Delhi or Delhi? Yeah, it's good. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah. How did you, uh, means what is your opinion on the removal of Article 370 and 35A? Is it going to be beneficial for J and K and after it has been divided, like J and K and Ladakh has been divided into union territories? Mm -hmm. So what are your opinions on that? Is it going to be beneficial in the long run or not? Mm -hmm. Secondly, uh, will there be any uh, increase or positive effect in the GDP or the earning of the revenue of both these UTs, you can say. Mm -hmm. Then the third one will be the produce of the UTs, which will go all over India. The productions which are there in Kashmir, like spices are very popular, apples of Kashmir are very, very popular, and many handicraft items, even clothes like Pirhan and all this, very popular. Mm -hmm. So do you think after the removal of these articles, now the supply will be very easy to other parts of India or not? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. from the business point of view, will it, is it going to be very beneficial for Kashmiri, right? Mm -hmm. And the third, uh, then the, the next question will be, will there be any improvement from uh, uh, if we talk about roads and railways and other, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, and other commu uh, commutation things and communication structures also. Then talking about the tourism industry. Okay, so Gulmarg and uh, Valley of Flowers and Pahalgam, they are very beautiful places as mm -hmm. compared to other tourist destinations in India. So do you think now the tourism sector will jump and uh, generation of government jobs will be there of about 50,000 Kashmiris. So mm -hmm. what are your views on that? And mm -hmm. at last, deprived Kashmiris from agriculture produced from other states of India will now be available to take the benefits. Hmm. So these are the questions. Uh, see, um, I am not sure if I'll be able to answer these questions because mm -hmm. I don't have much knowledge about all this. Mm -hmm. And secondly, uh, whatever you ask me, that, that depends with... Uh, Okay, whatever has been done, it, it should have been done by taking the Kashmiri people into confidence. So mm. I'm not sure. Like it's, it's, see, uh, it's it's too much of unrest there right now. Mm -hmm. So I am not sure. Even if you are, maybe there's there's on the positive sides of this, uh, you know, division into UT and all. But uh, I don't know. I cannot comment on that because people are lost. Nothing is open and. People are yet to react on this, no? They are mm -hmm. not even able. Nobody is even able to react. Like, mm -hmm. I am. I'm not sure. I, I, I don't. I don't think so. Things, things are going to be like. Mm -hmm. See this benefit, and it, it will be beneficial in the long run. I mean, that is a secondary question. So, mm -hmm. I don't think anybody will be able to comment, mm -hmm. com comment, comment anything on this right now. Not even me, because till the time we don't see the reaction of people, do they actually want this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are they in favor of abrogation of Article 370? Like, there are so many things. So, I I don't think uh, whatever questions you have asked me, I'll not be able to answer these questions. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. Because mm -hmm. you, 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 you can understand. Mm -hmm. 
uh, right you can understand like what are the conditions right now in jk and mm-hmm. especially in kashmir i'm not aware about jammu that much but like give look at me it's been a month and on spoken to my mother like i i have no idea what is how they are back home so thinking about all these things like uh, what how much boost it will give, give to um, you know tourism and all mm-hmm. maybe in the long run i don't know when things will pacify and people will react to this mm-hmm. they have not been given a chance to come out of their houses and to say like at least government of india uh, should have taken people of kashmir into confidence before doing all this Mm-hmm. So I I will not be able to comment anything on all this. And what about the business and the tourism sector and all? Do you think will will it improve after the removal of these articles? So don't you think now Indians will be very free to uh, and happy also to visit Kashmir and uh, you know they can. Yeah, I I think I hmm. think even before uh, whenever there has been unrest or something, uh, tourism was always normal there. Like there are people who still visit it. Kashmir, given given it's you know it's very sensitive and prone to um, protests and all this whatever things happen there, but uh, it it's been okay. To, but now now that uh, this um, you know Kashmir issue, which was like uh, very silent, it was it it's gone uh, worldwide. Like it it again um, kind of alive now. Like whatever is happening in Kashmir, but I don't think uh, people of India, especially. any time sooner would want to settle down in kashmir or go to kashmir or something because things are actually not good there <laughs> yes yes right because uh, 30 40 years ago i spoke to many people of those of those times of those uh, previous generation they used to tell me now they have become senior citizens they I used know. to tell me that kashmir was the number one destination for honeymoon couples and bollywood yeah. movies were made no exactly suddenly what happened like uh, the tourism industry or you can say tourism sector of kashmir has gone so much down even foreigners are, are very much scared to visit kashmir they can go to yeah. kullu manali masuri or any historical place but mm-hmm. why is it so the uh, you know the tourism sector of kashmir has gone so much down in the last 30 or 40 years otherwise we had so much friendly relations exactly hai na i think even bollywood movies they were shot there they never No, no, Kashmir ki Kali is such a famous movie. <laughs> Shammi Kapoor, Rishi Kapoor, these uh, you know, these were they were legends, Bollywood stars, and these they represented Kashmir in a very well, you know, positive way. Suddenly, what happened? Now nobody is interested to go there and do the shooting. Instead, they can go to Kullu Manali and show that Kullu Manali is Sri Nagar. Exactly. So suddenly, what happened? Because uh, Kashmir was very peaceful. I the uh, and uh, in fact uh, in 2004 when I went to Kashmir this uh, residency and large shop markets are very popular I have been there so Indian army Indian officers were very well respected and well regarded by the Kashmiris and those people who were running shops or who were the shopkeepers they used to open hand welcome the Indian army officers or Indian soldiers that sir please Come try these things in our shop. Even an apple seller, the vendor, he used to tell that please try these apples. These are more tasty. You can take it for free. For army people, these uh, you know products, these food products are free of cost. Now suddenly, what happened? That stone pelting has started on Indian army. Why is it so? Like uh, so much of uh, earlier, we were having very healthy relations, and Kashmiris were also having very healthy relations with Indian Army. Suddenly, yeah. what happened? Stone pelting has started very badly. That it's like a you know enmity today. So what are you? Uh, so what you think about this? I don't know. I can't comment on that. I have I have no idea because it's been like I have not stayed in. Kashmir for so long, so mm-hmm. I I have no idea. I have no idea how come stone pelting and all this started. Mm-hmm. I, I I have no idea. Okay. Yeah, but see something. There's something. It's it's the it's the reaction of uh, some anger, which maybe which was there. You if you remember 2016, mm-hmm. 2008, 2016, all this happened. 
so uh, usually if you if you go to other states of india if there are agitation or protest so you use water canisters mm-hmm. you do large charge but i have never seen um, in any any part of the state uh, in any any state that pellets are used you can see how many pellet injuries are there like people feel like uh, india government of india they just want the piece of land not kashmiri hmm. if actually you are saying kashmiri is an integral part of india do would you would you treat your people like this mm-hmm. go and see how many people i have rendered blind like 778 okay one and half year old girl this time mm-hmm. has pellet injury in her eye she yes i saw that blind. video yeah photograph so, yeah. why would you do that if you think that uh, uh, kashmiris were sharing a very very good relationship with uh, with india like indian army our army as in uh, they used to tell them do this this is free for you uh, so this is what it cannot be one sided there is always other side of the coin right mm. if uh, something was there which uh, initiated stone pelting see all of a sudden somebody would gather a crowd and tell them see from today you have to start stone pelting no it is something which was deep down there and which came in the form of stone pelting because kashmiris so there are there were militant groups or whatever we are not aware but for a normal kashmiri they have stone they don't have a gun hmm. so it's something some it is some reaction i don't know what is it maybe because lot of brutal force was used on people like there i have seen so many videos right now where uh, people are say, people have given their bites no small small uh, bites mm-hmm. about what is mm-hmm. happening right now so they are like all of a sudden we are we, we are sitting they'll come they'll break all the window panes everything uh, we can't even go out and mm-hmm. ask them what happened because they will shoot us mm-hmm. they will uh, use pellets they are targeting even the tear gas there is a there is a particular way of using the tear gas right you mm-hmm. cannot shot it at somebody pellets are used and now what they are doing is this time anybody who has pellet injury pellet is like it if it is used for a particular range and it has a i think very uh, like it it can go in a long range I'm, mm. i'm not i don't have much knowledge about that but nowadays what they are doing is uh, if some even if somebody has got pellets mm. and if somebody is sitting uh, inside their house and there is some protest outside and they are using pellets pellets and all and now somebody got a pellet injury they are arresting them saying that you were also part of see this is like long long time i don't know whatever it was inside maybe see you have to have confidence of kashmiri people simple nothing will change until you don't yes, take kashmiris into confidence actually the, you have to yes, ask them ask yes. them what, why is it that uh, 20 30 percent of people are like you want to go uh, why would they even want to go to pakistan when then pakistan can't give us anything their economy anyways is nothing yes. we hmm. won't get anything with pakistan hmm. i am i have never been personally in favor of all this hmm. but why is it why is it that a, a particular portion of people are saying that in their slogans also uh, we with your pakistan we want freedom pa- pakistan is pa- why do mm. have you ever ever gone deep into it what is it that uh, we are not able to do there that's why people are either saying we want independent kashmir or we want to go to pakistan why you have to go deep down into it you have to see what went wrong Hmm. there there is always two sides of the coin if hmm. all out of nowhere after uh, 2000s like this stone fell in sudden why did it start hmm. was it something was it the reaction of some anger hmm. A- everybody won't take gun right hmm. there are civilized people educated people they won't but hmm. but tell me tell me something in 2017 2018 uh, after that burhan wadi uh, assassination was, yes yeah tell me something Have you seen there were PhD scholars also who took guns? Why? Hmm. If oh, if you are saying that only uneducated and people who are poor they don't have jobs, they are saying jo- uh, no, lack of employment is uh, is a reason that's why people come on roads and they do stone pelting. There is nothing like that. Hmm. Kashmir is much more developed, I think, than even the metropolitan. Hmm. Hmm. It is it is much more developed. Kashmir has a lot of resources. People are not only dependent on job. They have Kashmir arts and crafts. They do business out of India. People have apple, saffron. Um, you know, you you know about all Kashmir. Yes, yes. Uh, Bedi garments and and handicraft items. Oh, Kashmiri carpets. Chinar is very popular. Chinar. Tell me, t- 
tell do you even think people will be dying uh, there because of unemployment there is nothing like that i think in even, even if uh, even if there is a sweeper in kashmir hmm. they they also have a proper house to live in hmm okay okay and um, uh, another question uh, as if we talk about amit shah so he passed the bill for the reorganization reorganization bill 2019 mm-hmm. okay that is uh, restructuring everything to be reshuffled so that we can make this india one nation because according to him he mm-hmm. gave a statement that there are some political leaders mm-hmm. okay they don't want kashmiris or kashmir to develop that's why they brainwash and influence the bpl category people for stone pelting in fact their children are studying abroad but when you come to kashmir you uh, brainwash them and you don't want kashmiris to develop i don't think so it hmm. is not the case Hmm. There is nothing like that. That's why. Why they, would anybody? Hmm. Why would anybody? And that we are political leaders. Yes. Even mainstream politics. You think mainstream political leaders will tell people to do so? From Kashmir leaders. only. That's why uh, uh, our PM Modi and Amit Shah they took the initiative. Yes. So let's have this uh, thing removed. Uh, uh, Article three seventy and thirty five A and. All the, and the special why, why do you have to do it when already the case was before Supreme Court? And uh, why was it done after they broke their alliance with uh, PDP? Mm-hmm. It was something which was there in the pipeline maybe for five years mm-hmm. before it. Not an overnight overnight thing. I know that mm-hmm. like it, they might have been working on. Already the matter was before uh, before Honorable Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. Let the let Supreme Court uh, decide. Mm-hmm. Then they could have done this. <coughs> uh, after. Telling, asking tourists to leave the place. I I have seen interviews of tourists. They were like, we don't, we have no problem here. We have okay. no problem. Mm-hmm. Yatris, yatris are saying that we have ever in life we have ever faced any any problem, any problem du- during our uh, yatra and all that. And mm-hmm. it is on record that mm-hmm. Kashmiri people have treated them like their highest uh, guest whenever there is a yatri. Mm-hmm. There has never been anything on yatra. Kashmiris don't have problems with Indians or anything. It is the way they are treated in their own land. Mm-hmm. Okay. There is a lot of bias. Mm-hmm. I being a Kashmiri, mm-hmm. I I am telling you like what I have felt. There is nothing like mainstream uh, mainstream political leaders are coming and telling them to do, um, telling people to do stone stone building. I have I have never seen anybody. Uh, will you will you address this this much gathering? You will go to every district of Srinagar and tell them to do stone building. Stone building doesn't uh, happen in just one area. There are hell lot of um, you know districts and um, parts, their cities mm-hmm. where stone building um, happens. So uh, is it actually possible that that a mainstream political leader will go and ask people to do stone building? There's nothing like that. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's possible. Okay, and even if uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi and Amit Shah they had to do all this, mm-hmm. see you cannot do this by you know I I felt I I remember I was calling my mom. It was fourth of August. Mm-hmm. I called my mom mm-hmm. and my uh, sister's husband. Mm-hmm. He called me and he said I think internet is going to be uh, you know barred from tomorrow mm-hmm. because there is something my internet is not working and I am using the broadband. And within minutes, I called my mom. I was like, at least I'll do a watch. Like I do three times with her. I have a ten month old niece. I wanted to see her because I, I, I was like, there's something is going to happen because all everything was fishy. They were asking tourists to go back. They were asking yatris. They stopped it, which has never happened. I think in 27, 28 years of my age, I have never seen uh, this happening. As in, people are told to leave. Some this is happening. That is happening. Mm-hmm. So. I was not able to call my mom at since fifth of fifth of August. Fifth of August, I'm not able to speak to my family. How do you do it? Like you, you, it was a kind of drama they did. They asked tourists to leave. They asked yatris to leave. Everybody was asked to leave. They imposed a curfew, section one forty four, and everything. And tomorrow you are uh, announcing in the house that we have abrogated Article three seventy and thirty five. Hmm. I mean, is I don't think it's a democracy. This is not what democracy is all about. It's not okay. And what about the you know this uh, move which have been taken by these our you know leaders, the uh, PM Modi and Amit Shah? 
it is all because to abolish the militancy because if we see kashmir as compared to other states in india kashmir has been very disturbed and very much affected that even indian army officers cannot roam around freely in the in shrinagar or nearby places okay Which, can you tell me one thing mm-hmm. just i am asking you mm-hmm. how will it uh, stop militancy first of all they wanted that the rem- according to them the removal of all these according ad- to them yes. not according to everybody it mm-hmm. is their thing it mm-hmm. is not everybody's thing i Art- Article three seventy was, uh, you know, made a part of Indian Constitution after uh, Hari Singh. Since India being a secular country, he never wanted to go with Pakistan, mm-hmm. which was a Muslim because Pakistan country. attacked uh, uh, Kashmir, which was then a independent princely state. So exactly. he, yeah, so he came and he asked for the help from Indian Army that Pakistan is attacking in nineteen seventy one, and Indian Army supported Hari Singh. Yeah. that time hari singh and nehru was they built a very healthy relationship that then afterwards it was a mutual understanding that article yes, 370 came into play yes 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 we exceeded with india right yes yes but only only three things were there which we wanted the support of india from it was military it was uh, communication and it was something else three mm-hmm. things were there mm-hmm. not entirely only and solely in uh, pa- you know kashmir merged it it it, it was exceeded right mm-hmm. accession happened mm-hmm. there is a long history like what happened why why yes, we wanted yes. because india being a secular country we, we always wanted to be with mm-hmm. because sheikh abdullah uh, nehru uh, and they had they were like liberal they were mm-hmm. not extremists mm-hmm. so they they always wanted to be um, with a country who is secular where in india we have all types of all religions are here Mm-hmm. We are here to Muslim, Sikh, Christians, everybody. Mm-hmm. So that that was the main intention. Okay. Now, uh, in that document, w- which I have uh, seen and I have like read on internet um, everywhere, so it was like when if ever people of Kashmir uh, don't uh, want to decide, like don't want to be with India mm-hmm. per se, so there will be a plebiscite. Hmm. Plebiscite. Okay. So which which never happened. Leave that. I don't want to go. I I just don't want to go into all that. Whatever happened, whatever was the thing. That is that time we were not even uh, like born or whatever. Now the thing is, just say whatever happened. Even if even if CM Modi, Amit Shah, they thought it's a very good move for Kashmir. Hmm. Why were not the mainstream leaders included? Why they are not even aware? What? Why are they arrested? Mm-hmm. Why why are they not able to? Come out and say at least let them address the people of Kashmir. No, let them tell people of Kashmir how it is going to be beneficial for Kashmir in the long run. Hmm. You are not talking to people of Kashmir. Hmm. Tell me something. In the house, there are two houses. It was passed to Rajya Sabha, then Lok Sabha also passed it. Okay. Hmm. When are you going to convey this to people of Kashmir? Will it remain in the house? Hmm. Will it remain in only Parliament? Tell hmm. me you. Are you all? Are you forever going to put a curfew in Kashmir? Hmm. It won't be right. They have to lift the curfew one one day. Hmm. When are you going to address people of Kashmir that this happened? And why don't you explain people of Kashmir that how how it is beneficial to them? Let hmm. let 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 me come this way. Hmm. Leave whatever whatever has happened. Whatever happened is past. Now government of India in a very very good intention. They wanted to approve the Article Three Seventy and Thirty Five A because of which they are happy to develop this and all that. Okay, hmm. people, they, it was uh, too much prone to militancy and everything. May, mainstream political leaders, um, as for them, are telling people to do this um, stone pelting. Their own kids and uh, kids and kids they are outside uh, out of India. For that matter, I am also a lot, lot of my cousins are. Has been study in uh, study abroad. They study different different states of India. Mm-hmm. That that doesn't mean um, that doesn't mean like we 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 want others to do stone pelting, but there is no participation from our side. There is nothing like that. Mm-hmm. Now the question is, you did it in a very good intention. Mm-hmm. As per uh, everybody, they have a very good intention. Kashmir is an integral part of India. Mm-hmm. Now tell me, when are you going to? When are they going to convey this to people of Kashmir? Mm-hmm. You have no internet there. Mm-hmm. There, there is no communication. There mm-hmm. is total communication blockage. Uh, you are uh, Kashmir is like a jail right now, right? Yes. You will agree. It's a prison yes. right now. Mm-hmm. People are inside and they can't go anywhere. I don't know how many people will be uh, depressed and uh, getting panic attacks because of all this. 
Now tell me when are you going to convey this to people of Kashmir and how will people of Kashmir? If you are saying it is in a good uh, intention, uh, in long run there will be development. How are normal people of Kashmir? Uh, how will they get to know all this? When are you going to lift the curfew and when will you convey this to Kashmir? I think this will this conversation will end up with your question then how, when, and what, right? So how, when, and what? Yes. When will you lift the curfew? Huh. When will people of uh, will you give them a free this uh, to to uh, to speak speak about let them speak maybe there are chances hmm. that fifty percent of people will be in this uh, this in its favor I I and I'm sure there are people who are in this yes favor. yes they are very much loyal towards India and I know some of the people who are serving in uh, JNK police. But when will you convey it to entire Kashmir? Hmm. So there's a blockade. How long will you keep the communication blockade? How long will you keep the curfew? I just want to know this. How long? And the way you are doing it, you are just, you know, drifting apart more and more uh, people of Kashmir from you. Simple. Because I tell you one thing, I have always supported Indian team. Like in Kashmir, there are people who support Pakistani team. There are people who, very less people who support Indian cricket team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've always supported in my family. There is like division. Few support uh, Australia. Few support Pakistani team. Few support Indian team. Mm -hmm. I have never been in favor of this Pakistan and all that. Now tell me something. If today I am not able to speak to my mom from a month, it will change my thinking also. Mm -hmm. I I will think that yes, it is true. There are seventy percent of people who say that government of India just want they just want Kashmir, not Kashmiri people. Today, hmm. I also think the same. Hmm. Because it's been a ma I'm not even sure if my niece is able to get baby food. Hmm. Now, now let me tell you one thing. Recently, there was a doctor who simply said that if there is a patient who is coming for, for dialysis, this patient has to come thrice in a week for dialysis. And hmm. if the patient comes only once a week, there are chances that the person will die. You know, when your kidneys fail, you will die. Hmm. And you have to uh, come for dialysis regularly. You cannot miss it. Hmm. Chemotherapies, you cannot miss it. Hmm. Now, why, what was his, was there anything he said against the government of India? Why was he arrested? Hmm. And have you seen how he was, how he was taken, uh, I mean, it was very bad. Hmm. He was taken into custody. Why? He being a doctor simply said, what are the repercussions? Hmm. If, if patients are not able to come. And there are patients who are in charge for, um, you have a, a health insurance these days. It all works on internet. You you are you are given a card and uh, they they use their card and see what all uh, you know what all uh, services and what, whatever you have to take off free and whatever we have to give you. When they are not able to use their card, how are they going to avail the insurance? Hmm. There are so many things. It's not about people are not able to talk uh, back home. There are so many things. It, you know, these days everything is on internet and communication. When you are curbing that, I feel like we are in that 1950s, 70s. It must have been like this. When there was no telephone and when there were no... Yes, yes, yes. Right. So are we developing or we are going back in the stories? I think they need some more time as per the news I'm following. I think by the month of October end or starting November, things will be fine. But I think our political leaders from BJP party, they are working very hard to make Kashmir a very peaceful and a developed I hope. City. I yeah. Hope. So let them what work and let's uh, wait and watch. And uh, how's your job going on in Delhi? Is it fine? <laughs> Yeah, and so. how and uh, how do you feel like uh, when you are serving in New Delhi, it's the capital of India, it's one of the VIP places. I have India. myself loved this place so much. I would never want to go anywhere from Delhi. Hmm. And personally say, speaking, I have never faced any kind of issue in Delhi. People have always been very, very happy. Okay. I, why would I? Like, it's, hmm. it's always been mm -hmm. very good. That's I have nice. never So nice it. of you. You liked our city, New Delhi. <laughs> and right, and uh, yeah. since how long you have been working? Seven years in the bank, yeah, standard I bank. Have, yeah. Okay, I have uh, this seven years of work experience. So I am a law graduate. Okay. I was in the litigation also. I have practiced in Delhi High Court also for two, three years. Mm -hmm. Then I moved to corporate, and I'm not into banking. Banking, I'm into legal department of the bank. Mm hmm. Yeah. So what are your future plans and uh, your family plans also? Uh. You want your family to relocate to New Delhi? 
No, no, I don't think my family would ever want to read. Yeah, my mother keeps on coming, like my family keeps on coming on and off. Hmm. But at the end of the day, they want, they just want to stay in Kashmir. And who all are staying with you in uh, New Delhi? Your uh, cousins, siblings, and yeah, my my younger sister is here. Okay, my cousins. So mostly, you know, people of uh, Kashmir usually, yeah, younger sisters they usually study in Bangalore. Okay, so even the weather and all, you know, Delhi is like a little bit difficult for us. Mm-hmm. But I'm the only one mm-hmm. who has uh, stayed so long in Delhi. Mm-hmm. One of my cousins, he was working here, but he moved to Denmark. He okay, nice. Like, you know, yeah, sent to the company. So, mm-hmm. things are good, but I don't think my family would ever relocate. Okay, fine. And uh, how? And you might have made so many friends in New Delhi since yeah, you have been uh, staying. So you have so I many have variety of friends in Delhi, yeah. right? People so. from different different states. Hmm hmm Yeah, 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 yeah. That that that's the best thing about this uh, place. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And what are the other cities you have visited in India? I have been to almost everywhere. I have been to Himachal. I have been to like Himachal side. I have covered almost everything. I have been to Bombay. I have been to Bangalore. I have not been to Pune. Hmm. And uh, Goa, I have been so many times. Mm-hmm. There are so many places I have. And I which have is been. the best place you like? Mm-hmm. According to you, which is the best city? See, for me, uh, I stay in Delhi, so I find Delhi the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah, given the pollution and all, it's, it's uh, a little too much or mm-hmm. weather also stays, remains hot, but I am used to now. Mm-hmm. So, nothing like Delhi. Okay, so from career point of uh, from career point of view, Delhi is the best. Yeah, yeah, Delhi is. They are because mm-hmm. It is somehow there to Kashmir also, like it doesn't take me so long if I want to go home. It's a one hour, 15 minutes, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. flight time, so. I'm happy here. I, I find Delhi very convenient to stay as compared to Bangalore and mm-hmm. other, other, other states. And which is your favorite uh, favorite tourist destination? Uh, it will be oh, outside India only. Abroad somewhere, Europe. I've recently been to Dubai also. You've been to Dubai? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so I how did you find Dubai? It was amazing. I never wanted to come back. Okay, it was okay. beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. Okay, fine. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll get in touch with you again. Okay? Sure, sure. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Life is a nonprofit charity that's provided humanitarian aid and development to people and communities for over 25 years, regardless of race, color, religion, or cultural background. When disaster occurs here or around the world, Life for Relief and Development rushes in to provide food, medical aid, and shelter to those in need. Please help improve these efforts. Make your tax-deductible donation to Life now at lifeusa.org or call 248-424-7493. I myself have personally interviewed two Kashmiri girls what they personally feel about the removal of Article 370 and 35E. So let's have their views. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah, hi. I'm calling from US Arab Radio. My name is mm-hmm. Cynthia. So I will be taking your interview regard, related to the Kashmir is- issue, which is the hot topic today in India. So ma'am, mm-hmm. what's your name? The listeners want to, uh, the listeners in US, they want to know about you. What's your name? Just tell, tell us something about yourself. Okay. So uh, I am from Kashmir. I am currently uh, uh, living in New Delhi. Mm-hmm. I am working here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what's your full name? My name is Kura. Okay. You are a Muslim? Yes, of course. Okay. So, uh, since we all know that the Kashmir issue related to the Article 370 and 35A is the hot topic since 5th August 2019. So, here are some of the questions we want to know about your views, what you personally feel about it being a Kashmir citizen, JNK citizen. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Uh, see, earlier before the removal of 370 and 35A, Kashmir was considered as one of the neglected states. Right. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. do you think after the removal of Article 370 and 35A, do you think the special status will be given to Kashmiri and now it will further lead to the development in the coming days? Uh, see, I think Article 370 itself was a special status which was given to the people of JNK. 
and removal of it is not going to bring uh, any respite to kashmir it is rather going to make things difficult for us okay. the abrogation of article i would say perhaps has generated more emotions than you know any other event in the country in recent past mm mm-hmm. uh, it has uh, uh, you know the anger has come out mm mm-hmm. people find it humili- people find that they have been humiliated mm mm-hmm. and it has been seen as a wide spectrum of emotions you know reflected through millions of uh, conversation that uh, kashmiris are putting on through social media you you can read those conversations and you would understand that okay. people are not really happy with what has happened now mm-hmm. since you said that uh, have we having been neglected mm-hmm. i would want to tell you here that if uh, you know the current government would have considered kashmiris do you think they would have put kashmir in this uh black hole this communication black hole do you think that you know they would have ever considered that maybe these people who are living outside kashmir would want to speak to their parents did they consider this mm-hmm. while putting kashmir under black hole did they consider people you know who want to have their medicine people who require chemotherapy people who require dialysis who need who have to reach out to hospitals pregnant women and you know a patient in kashmir do you think that uh, while neglecting all these things we could still say that the kashmir state is being considered the humans of i don't know kashmir state may they may be considering the land of kashmir state but people of kashmir state are not really being considered okay fine and what do you have to say about uh, the you know the punch line which the modi follows that about sardar vallabh uh, sardar patel that ek desh let's make india a one nation so what do you have to say about it let's remove they, articles and let's have kashmir is very much part of india let's belgium, make it one nation yeah belgium the article needs to be removed from himachal pradesh as well it needs to be removed from other states as well other six seven states including manipur north east asia north east as well mm-hmm. why is it being removed from there i know you know the conditions for removing uh kashmir uh, removing article 370 from kashmir and from other states of uh, india is a different thing because they anyways consider kashmiri kashmiris as their enemy mm mm-hmm. and this uh, notion of making it one desh then treat kashmiris as deshwasi if you are actually thinking of making it your you know a part of your desh 9 9000 kashmiri boys have been they have been detained mm-hmm. the ma- the majority of uh, you know them uh, there are no records about them Mm-hmm. where these people are mm-hmm. so where is where is the concept of making it one desh is it that the land needs to be you know uh, put into india and uh, to be made as one desh why why would you not consider people as uh, your own then why only land okay why and is it that you are only after business why is it you are only looking at the beauty of kashmir why not the beauty of its people are they not an asset of kashmir Mm-hmm, right right and also uh, what about the militancy in kashmir what do you have to say about it because so much of disturbance is there there was a time 50 years ago 40 years ago people were so much peaceful in kashmir tourism rate was so much high in fact i also remember many honeymoon couples preferred kashmir to be the best destination tourist destination so why is it so or since when it has been so much of disturbance in kashmir that the militancy is so much high so don't you think that after the removal of the articles the bjp is taking a very strong initiative to abolish the terrorism in kashmir so what are the measures that you are taking to abolish terrorism first what are the mm-hmm. yeah yeah tell me first of all they want to make it one nation because somewhere down the line people think that yes educated class and some of the people in kashmir they are very much loyal towards india they come to other parts of india they serve here they get all the benefits like relaxation in the you know reservation in colleges and everything most of the kashmiris which i have met personally they are very much loyal towards india but if i uh you know uh, talk about some kashmiris i don't know who have influenced or brainwashed their minds uh, mind so much that stone pelting is there otherwise i remember that in 2004 when i went to shri nagar right so the local kashmiris were so much you know 
well behaved or you can say so much they gave respect to the army people and uh, whenever the army jawans army officers visited their shop now suddenly what happened that the stone pelting has started by them on indian army suddenly what happened no it is not sudden it's not sudden you know stone pelting has come up uh, since you know 2008 while uh, the uh, then you know chief minister i think it was gulam nabi azad who mm-hmm. had uh, when the amarnath row was in mm-hmm. so so uh, uh, at that time they were they were thinking of giving land to the amarnath board and all i think it was then uh, you know the uh, uh, people came out on roads and started pelting stones mm-hmm. and then there was the there was the rape uh, case of asia and nilofar mm-hmm. uh, which which again uh, you know uh put the conditions in in uh, you know it actually pushed kashmir in a very critical condition i remember kashmir was under curfew for 6 months mm-hmm. and and then again there have been incidents that have pushed these people to come out on the road i mean what what other means do they have mm-hmm. you know they they write anything on facebook they you, you have already gagged their voices Mm-hmm. how are they going to put in for their resentment how are they going to express their anger otherwise mm mm-hmm. right they they would the locals would not pick up them mm-hmm. I mean, you you have to have a very radical mindset you you, ha- you have to be pushed to that extent you know that you start picking up them i mean tell me these people i, I told you you know that there have been 9000 uh, you know young boys and men and boys yes 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 they were detained yeah Yeah. Now there, there, there is a there is a boy who is just eleven years old, who mm-hmm. is just sixteen years old. Now when he comes back, if he comes back from the Agra jail or whichever jail he has been put into, I mean, tell me what emotions would he have for India? Mm-hmm. The first question that he would ask is, "Ki, me ne kya kiya tha? What, what did I do that I have been put under that I was put under bars?" Mm-hmm. And then there are young kids who have been slapped with PSA. Now mm-hmm. when you slap a when you slap a boy with PSA, his career is over. he mm-hmm. was asking about his career mm mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. then then when these people come out to show their resentment you uh, you know uh, shower them with pellets mm-hmm. you shower them with bullets mm-hmm. i mean uh, take the protest that happened outside kashmir you don't you don't shower them with bullets yeah? you don't uh, you know throw these uh, pellets on them mm-hmm. why is this why, why are these uh, two you know different behaviors mm-hmm. so right right so there are certain conditions there are conditions that are pushing people towards militancy and uh, yes I, i really don't think that you know things are going to uh, you know like they say that things are getting back to normal i don't think it's going to happen so soon okay. people are angry people are coming out on roads mm-hmm. people are showing their resentment to stone pelting okay Now the next question is. Let's move on to the next question. So, uh, do you think that uh, there is going to be an increase in the GDP, that is gross domestic product of J and K, after the reorganization bill 2019 launched by uh, Amit Shah? Uh, no, I, I don't really think so. No change. Why? Because mm-hmm. no, no. Yeah. Why? Because you know, if uh, if changes have to happen, that that they would have happened before the abrogation of 370. If they 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 have had to make positive changes in kashmir it could have been done uh, you know without abrogating 370 mm-hmm. now with this abrogation of 370 you have already cre- created that divide in kashmir mm-hmm. which is going to push it further okay and now any way yes, the economy yes. of india overall is uh, not really you know doing well mm-hmm. so okay another question is uh, what you have to say about the tourism sector of uh, jnk because some of the you know places like gulmarg pehalgam dal lake which has been a very very famous tourist destination as shown in bollywood movies also so do you think after the removal of these articles again you kashmiris will come up and jump and beat the other tourist destinations of india after the removal we i don't think the beauty of kashmir has to do anything with the removal of 370 Mm-hmm. Kashmir has been beautiful, you know, ever since it existed. I don't think Article 370 has to do anything with it. However, mm-hmm. if you know uh, the second third day of uh, its abrogation, you heard Ambani saying that you know he's already planning. He ha- he already has plans for Kashmir. Now I don't know what is going to happen. I don't really think that it would 
you know remain as beautiful as it is but uh, uh, whenever i talk about people you know why uh, whenever i talk to in fact people about the you know holiday packages of kashmir and all so they give it a second thought whether they should go or not as compared oh. to the generation 30 40 years ago so don't you think now people will be free to go and visit kashmir and this will lead to the increase of the revenue as such they is not they will never uh, they are not going to be paranoid any more visiting kashmir not no, no. i really think that people would not go to kashmir you know people would be scared because uh, i i presume that you know the anger that people have see people have been betraying mm mm-hmm. right leaving the government aside leaving the government aside there are majority indians who have supported this Hmm. without even realizing that they have friends there in kashmir without even realizing you know they have they they are running business with kashmiri so this has created dissatisfaction among kashmiri hmm. now i don't think that kashmiris you know would actually want to uh, keep their ties uh, or they would remain as they were before the abrogation of 370 okay. because some uh, so this or that way people you know those who have supported uh, this abrogation of 370 they have written on social media or they have shown their uh, you know happiness towards it, towards the abrogation mm-hmm. and like i said people are angry you never know what is going to happen in kashmir okay okay and the another question that will there be any improvement in the infrastructure like communication roads railways etc communication is already blocked okay and roads you know, and railways i don't know i i can't really answer that okay and the last question is that the you know government has promised the generation of 50000 jobs government jobs in fact for the youngsters so the government has asked the youngsters of jnk to prepare themselves for the next 2 to 3 months so what and, is fear yeah. and and where are they going to accommodate them i mean Well, I I don't think this is actually for Kashmiri because they have already applied to three seventy. They would want the rest of the Indians to apply there in Kashmir, such that you know they are able to grab land, they are able to you know grab the jobs which uh, were which Kashmiris were entitled to. Mm-hmm. I think these fifty thousand jobs would be for them. I don't think it would be. And then if if uh, you know the government is so possessive about Kashmiris, they they should have done it before. 370 I mean like were well, they waiting for 370 to be abrogated and then they would do something for Kashmir what was happening before that mm mm-hmm. okay okay one more question that the deprived kashmiris from agriculture produced from other states of india will will they be able to take the benefits now uh, i i i cannot answer that i don't really know okay. what will happen yeah Okay, fine. So, any last message to your Kashmiris and what you have to say to the U.S. people? Well, to my Kashmiri brothers and sisters, I would say that please stay strong, stay resilient as long as you can. Mm-hmm. And to U.S., I I don't really have any message. I would expect them to, uh, you know, look into the real picture of what is happening in Kashmir and not go through the you know jingoistic media, the soul media. Mm-hmm. I would rather want them to read. uh and uh, you know interested themselves rather than you know going to what the human media is showing to them because there is there is a lot more uh, to it which is being kept into the dark, which is being kept hidden mhm okay and uh, uh, being an educated citizen of jammu and kashmir as well as india also what is the best solution you want to give what is the best solution you want to convey to the indian government please let kashmiris have the life of dignity okay please let them give them all the human rights mm-hmm. that you know a human being deserves mhm please do not detain our kids like this is creating even more divide among us i yes. i would tell you that i am you know in delhi from past 3 4 years year, and i have received as much love as i could from the people i have been working with or i am working with but then again the abrogation of 370 you know it has created a hole in my heart mm-hmm. because i feel humiliated i i feel now i am properly occupied i feel now i am properly oppressed mm-hmm. you detain our kids you beat our uh, you know uh, men and women on road you have put communication blockade i am not able to speak to my parents it has been 7 days i don't know what is happening there i don't know what has happened to my friends 
people I know there. I don't know, you know, I have patients in my own family. My grandfather, he's diabetic. I don't know how he is, uh, you know, uh, uh, how he is able to get his insulin doses. I don't know how are the patients doing. There are kids who, re- who require uh, care. There are pregnant women. I don't know how they are doing. Right, right. Okay, then anything else you want to convey? Um, no, I think this will be all. Okay, thank you, ma'am, so much for being on our, you know, this uh, show. And um, thank you. we'll get back to you soon, okay, for yeah. the other thank round so of interview. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. So these were the two lovely girls from Kashmir, that is Ms. Gossia and Ms. Kurat, who are currently residing in New Delhi, that is the capital of India. A bit of disappointment can be felt or judged while speaking to them, while interviewing them. And somewhere down the line, they are hopeful that things will be fine. They have very good expectation from the Indian government as well as BJP political party and also our Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Hope things will be fine as soon as possible. People are waiting and also communication lines that is internet telephone lines will open soon and also the commutation or the traveling part will be more easy after the coming days when everything will be fine. So this was Cynthia Samson. Keep listening to our US Arab radio channel. And if in case, I'm again telling you, if in case you have not subscribed to our channel, please do so. We will be coming up with some more interesting political or current affairs news from India. Thank you so much.